What's going on guys? Uh, so I wanted to do a new video on BIOS modding the RX 580. What I have in the system right now is the Sapphire Nitro Plus. I haven't BIOS modded it yet because it was getting right out of the box 31, almost 32 mega hash a second on Ethereum. My buddy over at Brandon Coins got one and a lot of people are questioning whether or not it's actually BIOS modded. His is not BIOS modded at all. He hasn't BIOS modded it yet. I do all the BIOS modding for his cards, and it's not BIOS modded. This one's not BIOS modded, but I took it off the rig. I put it into the PC that I have on my desk right now. So I've already switched the BIOS switch over, so I can't go in and modify the BIOS. But I brought up GPU Z, so you can see, you know, it has the Micron Micron memory. We're gonna go ahead and save the BIOS just so you can. Uh, just so you know that it is the real one, it's the Elsmer BIOS. We haven't done anything to it. Uh, this is exactly what it is. We're going to go to desktop, go into RX 580, and we'll just save it. Uh, we'll make a new folder, and we'll call this the Sapphire 580. Click OK, go in here, and then we're just gonna save it in here. <clears throat> so the BIOS is saved. Um, I'll go ahead and go into Polaris BIOS editor real quick. Just so you can see, I'll bring up that BIOS. You can see that it's the original one. 580, Sapphire, open. <clears throat> this is the stock BIOS. Nothing has been done to it at all. You can see all the timing straps are different. Nothing has been changed to it. Uh, it is exactly stock. Uh, the only thing that it's done is been running um, a, a little bit of overclock and undervolt. So, you know, that's the BIOS now, but we are going to go through a BIOS test on it. We're going to update the BIOS. We're going to, you know, modify it to see if we can get better hash rate. But before we do all that, we'll close all this out for now. I'm going to load up Awesome Miner so we can get a base test line on what our hash rates are so you can actually see that this card does perform as well as we say it does perform right out of the box. I'm just using Awesome Miner because it's on my desktop. Why not use it? It's super easy. All I had to do is click a button and it starts up. So we'll let this get up and running. Start throwing out some hash rates so we can see what it's getting. <clears throat> let it ramp itself up. So 27.08 hash a second, 27.12. All right, so we're going to stop it. We're going to go into MSI Afterburner. We're going to overclock it just a bit. I'm going to take it up to 2200 and also adjust the uh, fan speed because I don't want it to cook eggs. So we'll go here, 2200, enter, we'll apply it. I mean, this everything's stock right here. This is the stock core that it comes out of the box with. Uh, now we're going to just go back to start. Also, my first BIOS editing video sounded potato because I didn't have a new mic and I was nervous. I didn't know what the hell I was doing. But, you know, I'm trying to learn and get better at it. So anyways, we started up just with a mild overclock on it. 2200, we didn't mess with the core at all. And uh, see what our hash rate bumps up to now. So we're looking at 29.58 hash. <clears throat> now this is running through Windows with the HDMI cord plugged into the back of the card. <clears throat> On Simple Miner, the hash rate is 31 mega hash. Windows uses a lot of resources. That's why I like using Simple Miner. You're able to get more hash rate out of it, you know, this overall just better experience. So as you can see, 29.85 mega hash. It's right out of the box. All we did was overclock it just a little bit. Now we're going to go in and we're going to adjust the BIOS. So I'll go ahead and stop it now. Let that close out. 
we can go ahead and reset all that stuff, close this out. I don't think we need GPU-Z right now. So we'll just close that out. We're going to go ahead and open up Polaris. Come in here. We'll go in. We're in our Sapphire one. We'll open this up. We're going to one-click timing patch it. You can see it changed all the timing straps right here. You can see how they're all identical now to what they were previously. And all they did was copy the 15 and apply it all the way to the 2000. So we'll go ahead and save this <clears throat> as the 580 Sapphire mod. Save. Okay, we can close that out. We'll close this out. Uh, we'll go to ATI Flash, run it as administrator. Go to load image, desktop, 580, Sapphire, the modded ROM program. <clears throat> so it's going to program itself out. Uh, it'll take a few seconds, you know, it might take up to a minute. But it's erasing the, the non UEFI BIOS, so make sure you flip the switch on it so you can customize the BIOS. So, we're flashing it with the new BIOS. Done successfully. We're not going to reboot just I yet. So we just load it back up. It didn't take too long to load back up. <clears throat> and we're just going to go ahead and save the BIOS again. We should be in our 580 folder. Yep. And we're just going to say test BIOS. <clears throat> this is going to find out if the BIOS actually took. We'll close that out. We'll go back into the Flares BIOS editor. And then we're just going to load up the test BIOS and to see if it actually took it. And it did. You can see all the timing straps are there that it took. All right, so we'll close that out. Close this out. We already got MSI Afterburner up. Go ahead and bring up Awesome Miner. Uh, we'll go ahead and bump this up to 2200. And we'll go ahead and bump our fan speed. It's up to 60%. Hold on, I'm recording right now. <clears throat> so we'll go ahead and click start. And now we're going to find out what the Sapphire Nitro Plus does once you BIOS mod it and overclock it. And it should be well over 30 mega hash a second, which means once we put it back on Simple Miner that we're going to be looking at 32, 33, if not more mega hash a second on Simple Miner. And then I'll be plugging that into the video as well so you guys can see it. So there you go. 30.51 mega hash, 31.4 mega hash a second. This is running off of Windows 10. Like I said, it's super resource intensive whenever you run off of Windows 10. So 31.14 on Windows 10. I'm going to put it on Simple Miner and load that system back up and show you guys. But this is with the modified BIOS on the Sapphire Nitro Plus. All right, guys, we're back. We got the card took out of the desktop PC and put back in a simple miner rig. I put it on Ethereum. Also, uh, there is a new 11.6 group out for Claymore. So be sure if you run a simple miner to update it. 11.6, that's the one I'm running right now. If you go to the Reddit link, it's an improved hash rate for weak NVIDIA cards by about 1%. Zero dev fee for three gigabyte cards in Windows 10. Same for all two gigabyte cards. Some tricks to increase available memory for three gigabyte cards in Windows 10 so you can mine Ethereum a bit longer. And a few other things you can turn compute mode on for AMD drivers for all cards, Windows only. Some Linux stuff, you know, a few other tweaks and things. Back and up and running on Simple Miner. This is the hash rate that it's getting 32.07 mega hash a second. Uh, with running on this new 11.6 so I mean that's all the BIOS mod does you can gain a hash rate or two 
Uh, I thought I would could squeeze a little bit more out, but I'm only running the one eight pin power slot onto the card. I'm not running the eight pin and the six pin. So whenever I tried to bump it up to its original core, it the card wouldn't actually load into Simple Miner. So uh, I'll show you my overclock settings right now. The overclock settings for the 580 is 1250 on the core and 2250 on the memory. For the 875 Thunderbolt, 4 on power stage, 65 target temp, 60 minimum fan speed. But this is just so you can see, this is the hash rate you'll expect on Ethereum if you BIOS mod it. If you don't, it was sitting at, what, 31 already? So, you know, you can gain some mega hash out of it. But if you know you take the risk of possibly breaking your card, I didn't break my card. That doesn't mean that you know all cards are made the same way. We can go ahead and we'll assign this back to Electronium so we can see what our uh, hash rate will be on that. It'll just take a second for it to load up and swap its pool over. That's the other thing. It's like super easy to just change between different groups and whatever you want to pick to mine with, and it, I. Super convenient. That's why I like to use Simple Miner. You know, you don't have to. You can just keep on using whatever you want to. But Simple Miner and Awesome Miner, they're both real easy to to get up and running. So, so yeah, there you can see GPU five, which is the Sapphire Nitro Plus RX five eighty, nine hundred and forty one on the hash rate. Uh, it's a powerhouse. So. Yeah, guys, that's going to be it for the RX 580 BIOS mod video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it was better than the first one that I tried to put out. If you did, hit the like button for the video. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Be on the lookout for new content. And if I find anything else about the Electronium attack that's going on right now, I will let you guys know. But I am going to be mining it. I am back mining it right now. So, yeah, stay tuned for new videos, guys. Peace.